and joins us now uh, live from Athens. Uh, what's happening? Well, there's a there's sporadic rioting still going on um, just outside my hotel room, two, two miles from here. We've had to sort of wend our way, Jeremy, through Athens. Not a single politician of any note can leave their own secure accommodation to come and join us. So it's, it's a little bit chaotic, but the key thing is the austerity package has been passed by the Parliament. It's no longer a maybe, it is a fact, and tomorrow the Parliament will pass the execution law that will turn this into a series of actions for individual ministries. If you've lent Greece money, or if your pension fund has, or your country, that is the good news. The bad news is it's been passed in the teeth of such viscerally felt anger. Oh, come on, Paul. It was hardly the entire population of Athens on the streets, was it? And certainly not the entire population of Greece. But if people are, as you say, in such numbers losing faith, where does that lead? There are a lot of people out, Jeremy. The, the worry is, as you saw in my report, uh, if you're worrying about strategic issues, it's, it's losing the middle classes. It's losing the people who are the small shop owners. In a lot of the rest of peripheral Europe, the, 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 the pain is going to be felt by the public sector and, you know, pensioners. Here, pain is being felt by small business people and they just don't feel that either their voices are being heard or that they can take it. And I put this to one of my uh, contacts, one of the key uh, political commentators in this country, you know, are we seeing in this loss of faith some kind of a threat to democracy?